the EA, the early antigen complex, the diffused and restricted protein components were impaired. Now this suggested that the genes involved as trans activators in the early lactic cycle have been uh, rendered ineffective by the organotins. More exciting was our, was our discoveries here. We looked at several organotin compounds, OTC, in this list here, against breast cancer, two types of breast cancer, colon cancer, ovarian cancer, melanoma, and renal cancer. All of these are more active than the cisplatin. As you can see, the cisplatin values are here. The, most, uh, the best uh, available one in the market now is doxorubicin. You can see doxorubicin, 8, 6. You can see some of our figures are very comparing with this. So the potential of organotins, this, this needs now to go into the second phase. And uh, some, this is in vitro, some in vitro work is being done. This is an arrangement with uh, uh, the with, uh, university in Belgium. And they have an arrangement with the pharmacy company there. So we are still working on it. We have uh, going to the next stage. So the potential, I want you to give you a glimpse. I have not named them because there's a poten potential, uh, possibly that this could be patented. So what I'm saying is organotin compounds are non-carcinogenic. They can control cancer. So the range is wide, extremely wide. This is the advanced stages of breast, colon, ovarian cancers. When you're stricken with one, then you need, the, you need to look for treatment. Now, this is so much for the biological. This last slide I thought I would put in there because of respect for Tansri. He works in Porim. Uh, they use a lot of transesterification catalysts there. The Non-corrosive, neutral, all the acid and alkalis are corrosive things. So you need a catalyst that is non-corrosive, can be reached and have several port lives. The best one that we found was dibutyl bisparacorophenoxidin. If we can pronounce that properly. That one, and it does. The methanolysis goes from tripalmitin to dipalmitin to monopalmitin. You can stop any one time and you can get di and mono and try. You can get oligochemicals if you want to. And uh, they're quite reasonably active. So I can't show more of this. There are papers published already in this, so more details can be obtained. Now, a summary then, what can we say? Tin remains an underexported natural resource worth billions of ringgit. Traditional markets remain as secure as ever on efficacy, reliability, and sustainability grounds. Tin is safe and green in contact with food and environmentally. Tin-based chemicals, ubiquitous, they continue to create opportunities for new markets has unlimited scope with regard to applications, both inorganic and organic tins. To unlock this potential, we need government initiatives, establishment of broad MADEC like body. You need to diversify the local tin industry. You need fiscal incentives to make mining economical, more modern dredges or processing equipment, and encourage startup downstream activities. And then you need to promote tight integration upstream and downstream. You need a body, strong body to do that. Now, much of this latest information on marketing and the trends, technology trends, I'm still in touch with International Trend Research Institute for many years ago when I was a young lecturer. I spent a period of my sabbatical leave there. I still have my contact with them. You got to buy this annual review. I got it free. So I was able to get the latest information in this presentation for you. Uh, to my collaborators, local and abroad, and research students go my deepest appreciation for making the organotin. I read it. I wrote it, so I must read it. Organotin is the research that I initiated at UM, the major success that it was. Worked with generous financial support from Mosti and the tin industry R&D board. The skills and commitment will always remain a constant source of inspiration and pride to me. Now, these are the names. 
All the names are here. Foreign names are there at the bottom. Some of the my colleagues, my fellow students, collaborators are here. I think there are about 12 or 11 of them here. I'm taking this occasion to present each of them with a memento before, you, before we break open for questions. Uh, I will call upon Tansley, it would be so nice of you if you could on my behalf present to those who may be here, okay? Uh, if your name is here, now there's one, maybe one or two names I may have left out in, inadvertently, uh, for which I apologize. Professor Ng Sek Wang, if you may come up on board. First student, <laughs> like, that's why he's, he's asked you to come up first. Yeah, he has, he has made us all proud. He's a senior professor now, and he won't, wouldn't want to guess how, what is his uh, number of publications he has. More than 1,000. Um, who else is next? Yes. <laughs> 